Hello guys, this week we're talking about filament on this channel because I've reshot and republished the Quarson Filament 3 on Laravel Daily and I'm publishing some of those videos on this channel. Today we're talking about multiple panels functionality in the case where you have a few rows and you want to separate them visually. So now you'll see this video from the course called Multiple Panels Admin and Accountant. And if you want the full two hour course with repository and text versions of the lessons, I will link that in the description below. In this video, we'll talk about multiple panels. Imagine you have a few roles in your system like admin and accountant, for example, and you have a choice how to structure the data. One way is to use roles and permissions inside of the same panel, and we will talk about that in the next lesson with Spotty Laravel permission and shield package. But another alternative, if the functionality is quite different for different resources, and if you want that to be different styling, for example, different colors for admin and accountant, it makes sense to separate the panels entirely. So have one panel for admin and one panel for accountant. They would both work with the same database, but would have different logins in filament and would see different menu items. Let me demonstrate that in action. When we generated our project, we have admin panel provider, but there may be other panel providers as well. For that, we create make filament panel accountant. Also, there is a warning that we need to register that panel provider, but it is registered successfully here in the bootstrap providers, which is the logic of provider registration since Laravel 11. So this is done fine. And then inside of that accountant panel provider, we see similar structure to admin panel provider, but with different URLs. So accountant here, and also the paths are app filament accountant resources. And now if we change the URL to accountant like this without products, we immediately see the dashboard of accountant, but without menu items because we don't have resources for accountant. And as an example of visual transformation, for example, we can change color to green, for example, then change top navigation, enable login as well, because apparently it's not here by default. Also, we can change, for example, I haven't shown that in the scores, but brand name, for example, accountant, company, and that would change if we refresh this, then colors and the menu item is on top. But if I go back to admin, those colors would not be persistent here. But let's get back to the accountant. And now let's try to generate the resource, another resource for the same model. And look what happens. We go make filament resource order. And we do have order resource already. But it will ask in which panel do you want to create it. And we choose accountant. And without changing any details, let's just refresh. We go to orders and we have our orders here. And the URL is accountant orders. And you can modify that resource separately because it is in app filament accountant resources. So you may define different forms or tables or behavior for accountant. With roles and permissions for menu items, filament would use the same policy. So we have order policy with view any true. But for example, we could change that to user is admin equals one. And then only the admin user would see this menu item. Or also in the policy, you can access which panel it is. I will paste it from my notes and filament should be from filament facades. So if the ID of the panel is admin, then we have one condition. Otherwise, if it's accountant, we may return another condition. I will comment this out and get back to return true. So it would continue working as usual. So yeah, this is the essence of multiple panels. If you have those menu items significantly different from each other by roles. 